Hello guys, welcome back. This is Vijay. In this chapter, we will see how to cover branches in Angular using Jest. I have written your sample code. So I have created a method named set greeting. This will set the greetings value based on the service data and the time. So here, once we get the service data, if it is success, I am triggering the set greeting method. And this in turn set the values for the greetings. So we will see how to test and cover the branches for this. Let's jump in. We will copy this code. Since we have already covered the service data. So here uh, we have expected name as a response. We will also add time. Just assume this is a login time. Say it as 12. Here we will remove this one. Now here we can also trigger this service data either by using fixture.detect changes or like this. So let's keep it as fixture.detect changes. Okay. So once it is triggered this method, once it is triggered this method, we have set the observable values as success values. So then it will come to this, then it will automatically trigger this method. So let's check. Uh, the value which set for the greeting is good day or not. So for that, let's see expect component dot greeting dot to be good day. So what are the text present here? We'll use the same. So here this will set, this will only cover this branch because the time we have set is 12. So it does not satisfy this condition. So it has satisfied only this condition. So only we are covering this uh, branch. Let's save this code. Let's run this application in the watch mode. npm run test colon watch. I'm running test in watch mode for this application. So here we will change this name to should greeting set good day. So this is the expectation for this one. We will also add another scenarios. Okay. So what if it is nine? And what if it is 22 and this should be the values good morning that is if it is less than 10 so in this case it should be good morning and in the last case it should be good evening Okay, so now we have uh, uh, covered all the scenarios. So if the time is less than 10, they should cover this branch. If the time is less than 20, it should cover uh, this branch. If none of this matches, it should cover this branch. This is how we are covering this one. But you can also trigger this method uh, separately instead of uh, calling this method and setting the values you can directly trigger this method but this method is also uh, checking the value for the service data so before triggering this method you should set the value for the service data since the service data is a public property you can also set it directly in without using uh, calling this method but the correct approach is you should trigger this method and this method should trigger this uh, set greeting and it should also have the service data. So you don't need to uh, set the service data and you don't need to trigger it. It all's in the process. Okay, our test cases has got passed. We will save this one for the remaining uh, scenarios for uh, good morning and good evening.
okay we could see our test cases has got passed let's stop the watch mode okay so now we have covered all the scenarios let's check the coverage report npm run test colon coverage this will execute the script in the package.json what we have mentioned during our configuration our coverage report got generated see here for our component data.component.ts we could see the statement is 100% coverage and the branch is 100% and the functions 100% and lines also 100% you can see all our files got 100% coverage so our application is completely unit tested let's see the coverage report in the browser so you can open the coverage and open the index.html so here we can see all our files 100% coverage all the things are in the green 100% statements 100% branches 100% functions and 100% lines so we'll see the component data component which we have recently coded here we can see it is fully covered so this is how you uh, do unit test cases for the branches